up guys, Grenade here. Welcome to another Photoshop editing sort of thing. And as you remember last episode, I did a tutorial on my new thumbnails and how they look and kind of how they work. Now this is the Photoshop version and I previously did a GIMP version. And GIMP is a free editing software you can get right now and you can start making cool thumbnails right now without paying any money completely for free. And if you want to see this video, make sure to click on the screen right now and click on the annotation to take you to this video. And then if you'd like to and somehow you get Photoshop, you can come back to this video. Or if you already have Photoshop, let's get right into this tutorial. So this is my new thumbnail. A lot of you guys have been asking me to show you guys how to do it. And, you know, a lot of people usually think I'm not going to because I'm greedy. But how can you be greedy with a thumbnail? Come on, guys. Um, so let's start by going to File, New. And uh, let's do 1280 by 720. And brand new canvas, right? And so what we're going to do is that we're going to add a new layer. And we're going to place our... If you go to place, and my mother's calling me. Uno momento. Alrighty guys, back to the tutorial. Let's go back into our folders here. I think it was thumbnail. I made a special folder for all this stuff. So I'm going to place this background here. Hit enter, and just kind of adjust it so that it covers every single corner and edge of the screen. Now what we're going to do is double click on this modifo, and then go to color overlay, get the color that we desire. Um, let's do green for the hell of it and we're gonna go to linear burn and then kind of not overpower it well let's overpower it frick it um, just kind of play around with the colors because it kind of depends what you choose so let's do that let's do linear burn this greenish and at a hundred percent Let's do a gradient overlay and change it to harden, right? Is that it? Hard light. And then we kind of turn down the opacity to 18. And that's pretty much it. Okay, that's pretty much it for the background. So it looks like this. And we're going to add a brand new layer. And as you can see in this one, we have the background and we have a couple of lighting effects and then the gun. So let's start with the gun because this is what, uh, when you save it as a PSD for your template, uh, you want this to stay as it is. So we're going to go to the thumbnail thing again and we're going to change this to PNG and uh, click on that. Um, oh, it says save as. Oopsie daisies. Let's go to place and use a USR. And then kind of scale it down because it's huge, like other things. And we're going <laughs> to move it sideways like that. We're going to pull it this way, make it that way, because that's the how I made mine. And let's change it to this like little radar looking thing. And pull this down like so. And hit done because we're done. We're done. We're done. Okay, there we go. And I don't know, this looks pretty cool. I, I like how it's like aiming down like it's going to kill somebody. Anyways, let's add another layer and put this under the gun. And this is where this uh, lighting stuff comes into play. So basically, um, we chose this green color. So now we're going to go to our brush tool. Or we can hit B. And we're going to make it into this uh, soft layer. We're going to make this big. Uh, let's see, I think 3,000 is way too much. I think, let's do 720. No, <laughs> not 720. Uh, let's do 1280. There we go, that's better. Now let's zoom out by using Control minus, and we're going to change the color to the same green, but a lighter version of that green. Bam! There we go. And uh, if I remember well, this was overlay, correct? Let me check. This was overlay, but it was 50%. That's what it was. Okay, let's change this to 50%. And now you got that like highlight in the middle. And now we're going to add uh, our text. And then behind the text, we'll add some like flares to it. So for the text, we're going to hit T. And we're going to type. And we're going to do your text 
and then we're gonna hit the little check mark move this this way hit T once more change this to whatever color you like I'm gonna do white cuz I'm gonna do me and um, you don't really have to edit much um, and this one I added a little inner glow to make it look kind of 3d ish but that's only if you're gonna use a different color and how you do that is for example you decide to I don't know go with red for some odd reason I don't know why you want to double click on your text go to inner glow and you want to change this to a white white supremacy just kidding calm down okay let's do Alrighty, back to the tutorial so we were on choke and this stuff so let's do that change the choke to this there you go and uh, I think that's exactly what I did I'm not pretty sure let me check back once more I used inner glow and I dropped the shadow that's what I did that's exactly what I did but I forgot okay let's double click on your text drop shadow and we're going to make the distance like that spread size and do that bam bam there you go and that's only if you want to change the color of your text which you know you can although for these types of thumbnails I like to keep them white or occasionally I do in fact change the color but white looks like I don't know it looks professional you know what I mean so now we're gonna duplicate this text just in case you want to add more text on the bottom here bam and we're not done with the gun exactly so let's double click on the gun go to satin and we're gonna change or actually we're gonna leave everything the same just lessen the opacity and you know what let's change it to soft light that looks nice soft light oh forgot to add the stroke 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 it baby stroke it let's go to white okay and I think three is enough although if you want to go overboard you can go with seven or five let's go with five that's in between insanity and conservatism I don't know what I was about to say okay let's make a brand new layer on top of the yellow or green little blob we did there switch to white go to your brush tool minimize don't or don't minimize but make it smaller uh, just enough so it's big enough to cover the text itself Self. okay that's enough let's do that bam bam uh, let's do the gun a little bit bam 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 and might as well do some of the corners just touch up the picture bam bam and let's go to overlay and actually let's not go to overlay let's just scroll through these one by one I forgot which one's which my bad guys my bad should have done this pre recording let's just do normal and lessen it to 60% around there and what I'm gonna do is that I don't like let's just use the eraser tool and I don't know if you if you're doing this along with me or you're watching this first if you're watching this first congratulations you didn't mess up um, I'm gonna take off actually let's just start from scratch go to the brush and just do the text only and then if I want to change color a little bit I'm going to make a brand new layer go over here and add this little green highlights and then that's pretty much it for the thumbnail itself and this is how I make my brand new thumbnails now what I like doing is I like uh, selecting these hitting control shift E or no 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 unselect everything real quick and then hit Control shift alt e or on uh, mac i don't know what that is but uh, just do that and then once you do hit Control t to manipulate it grab this little radar tool again uh push in the text at the corners like that you can stretch this one this way and bam 
There you go. You got this tech that's like bulging out and coming back in. I don't know. That's what I think looks amazing. And this is what I use for my thumbnails. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you have a question. And make sure to subscribe for more content like this. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are amazing. And like again, like I said before, if you're just now watching this and you want to watch this one as well, click on the screen right now and you can watch this one. But as you can see, there's clearly a difference between editing programs so either way photoshop is free or not <laughs> nope no 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 gimp is free photoshop is not both are amazing both get the job done right and thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like down below and all that cool stuff and as always i'll see you in the next video peace out <laughs>